Hey, good morning, you guys. Man, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday morning, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, ladies. Um, but uh, I'm about to go out, and I'm about to uh, go and catch me some crappies. Um, probably try the red ears again as well. I'm going to be pursuing those, actually, for the rest of this month and probably mid-May. But I'm thinking that the crappies should probably almost spawn out here, so we'll see. Um, high winds in Texas. High, high winds, man. Um, so you guys know how it is to fish in high winds. Get that wind protected area. Um, I don't have too many, but I still got to go out and get them. I'm going to go out to Providence. Uh, that's probably the one that got the most wind protective. Uh, that's the little ponds. But trees are rocking. I'm looking at the trees here. I know the water is rolling. So it's probably going to be kind of hard. I'm going to stop by Walmart give me some red worms. Got my jigs and stuff, my grubs. And we're going to see what happens, man. So y'all have a great... Saturday morning. Um, hope I can bring some footage to you guys. But you guys, if so, enjoy this video. We're gonna get the party started in one, two, three. All right, guys, we made it. So we made it out. The, the winds are rocking. The winds are rocking, and uh, we're gonna see if we're gonna do any good today. There we go. One sixteen ounce jig head. Tip with a worm and toss it out and let it sit and slowly bring it back. Got to get all the way down to the bottom. We got some strong winds today, so it's going to be kind of hard fishing. But I should be able to tell something, maybe. There we go, you guys. There we go. Probably a bluegill, a nice little bluegill probably. First bluegill today, you guys, it's a decent one. First bluegill of the day, you guys. I got all dirty, but it's not a good, not a big one, but he's a good one. All right, guys, so let's get back out here and see if we can get us something else. Not a red ear, not what I'm looking for, but I take big bluegills too. I'm gonna let it get to the bottom and see what happens. I normally catch them here, but I'm gonna see if I catch them out there too. Let it go all the way down. Probably catch a bass or something. Some bass love them worms too. I don't know what it is, but we'll see. It's swimming right toward me. Another little old bluegill, you guys. I take. Well, I ain't gonna take it. I'm gonna let it make it. I want something bigger than that. A lot bigger. It might be a red ear. Well, you can tell the difference between a red ear and this one too, you guys. They put totally different. It's a good one. It is a good one. They put totally, totally different hand size. There you go, you guys. First red of the day. I hope I catch a whole bunch more. That's a pretty fish, man. Got the red dot. Got the speckles. Very, very pretty fish. Thick, thick, big body. I like them. I take them this size all day long. All right, let's get back out there, you guys. Ready for one. Fast. 
That's a red ear. It's another red ear, you guys. Pretty one. Good size. Good size one. So you get to go home too. Good hand size. Yep, yep. Okay, this right here is a real good one, you guys. This is a good, if it's a red ear, it is an over pound. If it's a red ear. But it might be a, it might be a catfish. It might be a red ear. It's a catfish. God dang, I thought I had my pound red ear. Yep, yeah, it's a catfish. Now you gotta eat too. They got to eat as well. But I thought I had a pound or two red ear. It was pulling like crazy. Pretty little catfish. There we go. You gotta eat too. Boy, they got a hard mile. They got a tough mile. I said I brought the wrong arm. Um... There we go. There we go, you guys. I might retie that. Nice catfish. Nice catfish. He's going to get to go back. You guys, I hope you guys enjoying the video so far. I mean, I love fishing. I love bringing this stuff to you guys, helping you guys out with fishing, or just showing you videos of me catching fish. But this is my passion, and I love to do it. So, so today we're a bluegill fishing, and. Hoping to catch some good fish here. There we go, you guys. I got a turtle. Yep. Yep, turtle. I guess turtles gotta eat too. I don't even feel like messing with it. So I'm just gonna cut my line and just re and redo. I don't even feel like messing with the turtle. That hook will, that, that hook will come out of his mouth, mouth eventually. So I'm just gonna break the line. Boy, that line's strong. That's that six pound line. Well, hey. I'm surprised it didn't break. There you go. Oh, I got my jig. I got my jig. There we go, you guys. I love when that line take off. You know they hooked in. <clears throat> so he hooked, he hooked this up, uh, file hooked this up. Let me see. You can go back. Go back and tell them about the slab hunter. There we go, you guys. Catfish. Or, or your yeah, catfish, maybe. 
Man. I'm about to go and get my uh my um net. I tried to set my drag just then. I didn't have my drag set. Big old catfish. Okay. This is a nice one. You guys. Nice uh nice bluegill. I'm talking about a nice one. Woo man. This is a big, big, big bluegill. You got hand size here. And I gotta open my hand up like that. Yes, indeed. All right, guys. I can lift this bluegill. This is a nice one, you guys. Pretty little bluegill. All right, you guys, man. It's tough fishing today. I'm fishing in high wind. Uh, and it just... Uh, it's kind of hard fishing, man, but you can see these trees are blowing. And uh, you can hear the wind, but I'm going to keep trying, man. So if you guys made it this far, man, hit the, hit the subscribe button for me. Become part of the family. And I'm going to talk for about another hour to see if I can catch some more big bluegills, uh, big red ears, or big panfish. But we're going to see what we can do. So we'll get right back out there, you guys. Dropping down to the bottom with that 116 ounce jig head with a worm on it. Piece of worm. Let me sit at the bottom and then slowly rid in the back or let me sit there to see if anything will take that line. As you can see you got the hook here and then you got the sinker. That's about a foot. Okay. I might have had a bite just then. Okay, we'll see what happens. Bring it right down here, let it drop to the bottom. Get on the bottom. And we'll just see if anything will take it. There we go. with this pole right here brother you can come on out of here ain't none of that gonna happen with this pole ain't none of that gonna happen with this pole but uh, but coming out the water calm down calm down i ain't gonna keep you i'm just gonna take a picture with you there you go nice old bass you guys pretty little bass So, not much of a bass, small of them, but some been getting hold of them. He's surviving though, and he's gone. Took off before I can see him leave. Ain't no limits on bluegills, and they'll overpopulate a pond. So, back home where I'm from, they would keep every one of those bluegills that bite. Every single one. All right. I know this one right here probably. See, basically that's the setup. So when that tip, when that tip start popping, you start, you get ready.
I think he hooked himself. I'm not sure. Big one went, you guys. See, they'll hook they sell on that tight line if, if they if they bite long enough. They will do it. There's something messing with right now. And he's probably he might have hooked himself. Yep. See how he hooked himself? This is a red ear. Oh no, it's not. Some breasts. The good one though. Woo wee! You guys, that's a good one there. He going home. He going to the frying pan. He going to the frying pan. They starting to bite fast now. I might keep this in my hand. Nothing big though. Unless he come, unless he grow up when he get by me, but he ain't nothing big. Nope. Not big at all. Hooked his own self. I need to put a bigger, a bigger uh Big hook on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a bite. That's a bite right there. There we go. There we go, you guys. Nice bluegill or red ear. One and two. Big old red ear. Big old red ear, you guys. There we go. I'm talking about a big one. Hey, big fat joker. He swallowed that hook too. I get it out though. All right, guys. Here you go. Another red ear. Another big fat red ear. I'm starting to catch him, you guys. I think it's a male. Dick. Probably a little bit under a pound. I'm not gonna even weigh it. I'm gonna retie. We're gonna get this in the bucket. We're gonna retie. We're gonna get back out there. And they are pretty. Got that joke. A little red here. Bit of one. They get to go back. Mm. This might be a catfish here. Yeah, but he on the wrong pole though. He on the wrong pole today. He on that big boy pole today. Where right, you got another catfish, channel cat. Pretty nice, gets to go back.
Got a little bit of one here. I thought it was a red here. It's a bluegill. Jeez. I think I got a turtle. Yep, another turtle. They dug her. They got to eat too, I guess. Got a crappie, you guys. I didn't bring my scale. It looks like it's a keeper, but I'm gonna throw it back. It's borderline. There we go. Got another, another crappie. This one here is a keeper. It's a big old male. It's a male, it's a keeper. There you go, you guys. There you go, you guys. A big old male. I had a little tag just then. Gee. See if I can go back and get that joker. I felt that. There we go. I knew I felt it. Nice crappie. Nice male crappie. Oh. Yep, yep. Another male crappie, you guys. Dark, dark, dark. There we go. Boom. Boom. <laughs>